Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to switch your volume slash tune knob function in the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. I have in front of me here an X-Line Limited all-wheel drive in Vesta Blue. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, we're gonna head to the 12.3 inch infotainment screen and we can either swipe to the left and enter setup in the bottom right corner or when your media controls are showing, we can hit setup on the far right here. Once we're in setup, we're gonna hit the button button <laughs> and then <laughs> we're gonna see on the left here there's gonna be volume slash tune knob so I'm gonna push that and just like it shows here right now the left uh, knob down here in the control center is set to control the volume or if you push it in it's the power for turning on and off the radio the right side button on the right here is either going to be for browsing your media, so like tuning your radio station or changing to the next song through like Bluetooth or, or uh, your USB drive, or when you're on the map, you can use that knob to zoom in and out on the map. As per your preference, you can hit the swap button and it shows now that they've switched functions between the left and the right knob. Now it does say over here, that the hard controls labels will not change to match the functions. So when I was first playing with it, I noticed that the file and tune are not gonna switch over to the other knob. This is still gonna say volume and power, but now I've switched them. So if I wanted to adjust the volume now, I'm using this right knob over here, and if I wanted to change what station we were on, I'm now using the left knob to do that instead of the right knob. And again, when we're in the map, I can use this, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> that one's the volume now, muscle memory. If I can use the left one, I can use that to zoom in and out of the map, whereas it is normally on the other side. And again, um, you can go back into setup and hit button to go and change them, or you can also press and hold one of the custom buttons, and then that comes up as an option down here. I know that was a, a question from uh, uh, somebody on YouTube asking what that button did, so I figured I'd throw this video together. So it's personal preference, how you wanna set it up. If you had a passenger with you, sometimes maybe it's handier for them to do the volume while you're concentrating on driving, or vice versa, however you prefer. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing if you're enjoying our content. Also, all of our social media links are in the description below. Thanks guys.